The EU is on the verge of introducing export controls on any vaccine produced in the bloc. One EU official described it as an authorization tool, meaning that any company looking to export their jab internationally will need to get permission first. They're going to have to fill out a form indicating uh, when the jabs are going to be shipped, where they are going and how many are being sent. Then national governments, along with the commission, will decide on whether they stay or if they go. Now, this is not a blanket ban, but an EU official said it's very likely that some applications will be rejected. Uh, the proposal, though, is expected to be adopted on Friday. This, of course, comes against the backdrop of a very ugly clash with AstraZeneca over the delayed delivery of tens of millions of doses of its COVID-19 vaccine. Another round of high-level talks on Wednesday night failed to resolve the issue despite both sides saying that it was constructive. Now, Brussels doesn't believe that the firm is being transparent enough. And on Thursday, Belgian officials said they inspected a pharmaceutical factory outside of Brussels uh, that AstraZeneca uses at the commission's request to investigate whether delays are actually due to a production glitch as the firm claims. And that report is expected in the coming days. But this delay, along with one from Pfizer, will only exacerbate what has been a very slow start to Europe's immunization rollout uh, the bloc lags way behind the United States and the UK. The German health minister on Thursday warned of another 10 weeks of shortages. Uh, this is now compounded by Berlin's vaccine committee recommendation that the Astra AstraZeneca jab not be used in people over 65, saying that there is insufficient evidence. But if Europe starts blocking vaccine shipments in the middle of a global pandemic, even if it's to ensure its contracts are being met, that's likely not going to go down well in other parts of the world.